Yes, the sizes are different. This is the Barnes & Noble Nook Glow Light Plus 7.8, and this is the 6-inch eye reader, full-color e-reader. Today, we're going to see what the latest and greatest of Barnes & Noble can offer against the color screen of 2020. Let's check it out. <laughs> If you're just joining us on what this device is on the right and why it's so small and maybe you've never heard of it, iReader. iReader is a Chinese company out of China and they make the iReader C6. This is the world's first color e-ink panel. Now you guys might be saying there's some other devices like Fujitsu and uh, there's a couple guys like the Taco Jetbook and Pocketbook, but we're not counting those because those are one-off devices. They didn't really make an impact. The Kyobo, the Miracell technology, all of that wasn't something that was regularly sold in normal consumer capacity. This is a normal device with a huge presence in China, and this is, in fact, the color panel that other companies like Pocketbook, Onyx, and we hope another... Uh, w another company that shall remain unnamed will be using this technology moving forward. This is Color E-Ink in its consumer $200 package form. So now that we got you up to speed, let's take a look at what we can see here. Unfortunately, the screen sizes are different. This is because we have to compare it to this one. This is Barnes & Noble's latest offering. Barnes & Noble has a huge presence in some parts of Europe and, of course, the US. So it's very, very relevant and it's very recent. So we need to show it against this. Barnes & Noble doesn't have color. Obviously, there no major manufacturer does right now other than iReader. So we're just going to look at the color panels. And unfortunately, the iReader C6 currently in May 2020 only comes in uh, Chinese. So we will have to be relying on the content that we sideload in like the PDF for this example. All the content on this device will be English or your respective language of choice if you choose it to be so. If you download and sideload in onto this device, English content, Polish content, etc., it will be that respectively. As you can see here, this is a baseball PDF we use as a benchmark across all devices so we don't change the actual um, file itself. We let every device speak for itself. This is the Barnes & Noble on the left. It has a far more screen real estate and you will see compared to a standard flagship uh, bar smartphone how big this device actually is. So with that you just you naturally get a lot of room but you will see compared to the brand new latest and greatest feature of what's been on our channel the past uh, week and a bit is color. You can see that the colors are not vivid to the point of an LCD LED screen. Of course, it's e-ink. It doesn't show millions of colors. It's around the 4,000 color mark. Whereas this is no colors, essentially just levels of grayscale. We've had a lot of people ask why color is so important and because when you're reading a book, it doesn't really matter. It's black and white. This is why it's important, because if you have technical PDFs and schematics of, you know, uh, uh, educational books and schematics of like the human body and you need to know what color the gallbladder is and the lungs are and stuff like that, you can see color on this. It's very nice. It's very clear. You understand what you're looking at. This is just black and white. So although the screen real estate on this particular model is great, you don't have any other way to get any more color out of it. And yes, we have night mode on right now, so you can see that you can alter the front light, and that just basically is the light emitting onto the screen, not from behind the screen like an LCD. Uh, this as well has front light, uh, doesn't have a warm light on it however, but you do see the stark differences between having color and not. This gives you the ability to, you know, differentiate between things that are black and white, whereas this is just all black and white. You can see his hat is clearly red. You would never know that it's red on here. It would just be levels of gray. So if you guys are asking us why is it so important that color is here, it's because in the world of e-readers and e-ink, color is pretty much one of the most monumental things to happen to e-ink devices. 
And again, these aren't $600 devices like the Taco Jetbook and the Pocketbook Color Lux. These are $200. This is a $200 device. The Pocketbook coming out, which will use the exact same panel as this, is a $200 device. So it's not going to break the bank and it's totally achievable and it's somewhat of an impulse buy if you've already owned a black and white e-reader and want to own a color e-reader. This particular device, the iReader C6, is not incredibly relevant outside of China because it only runs the Chinese language. You can't actually set it to anything else in the here and now. There may be updates pushed in the future, but you will have to use maybe uh, AR or Google Lens to translate what you're seeing on the screen because unfortunately there is no way to change it to English. And a prime example of how it doesn't matter for books is because it is black and white. So as you're doing things like long presses and whatnot, nothing really changes because it's just black and white. So it's not necessary that you have color. Although it most definitely can make a difference when you're looking at the cover art of a respective book. Because if you're looking at uh, the author photo or the cover art or sometimes books have pictures of certain things in line like autobiographies and stuff have real photographs you can get the most of that out of a color reader so unfortunately we're not really able to show that much more in terms of comparing the devices themselves on this because this is running chinese only the screen sizes are different they access different stores this doesn't have a web browser there's a lot of things standing in the way of having a pound for pound comparison we can't show videos comparing on both of these we can't sideload apps even though they're pretty much both android so there's a lot of big things in the way that really skin these and 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 lock you down into this version of android that really is android but you can't really do anything with it you can stay tuned to our channel we are expecting an english update in the months to come on this potentially so we are going to be able to maybe push this into english and really unlock its potential of what this can do but for now in terms of the screen technology Comparing these two side by side, all I can say is Barnes & Noble better step up their game because if they're not careful, companies like this and Pocketbook and Onyx and maybe a couple more are going to outclass them because essentially your next step as a company is to incorporate color. We've seen a lot of devices just rehash the same old device over and over again and change the color of the housing but not do anything significant. This is the next step. Put color on your device is essentially the next step of where you're going to take your units. For GoodyReader.com, in a comparison between the latest Barnes & Noble Nook Glow Light Plus and the iReader C6, this is Peter.